Hey guys, it's Carolina here from Carolina's Crafts and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have another school themed cinch bound album I wanted to share with you guys. So I've made a couple of school ones already or yeah, I think I made two school ones. I just made two more. So this is going to be one video and then I'll show you guys another one. They're still different than the previous two that I made. Um, same collections, but different. Um, they're just different inside. So I'm going to share with you guys what I made. And I just love using my cinch from time to time. It's so fun. I love it. Um, so I will link that down below as well. And I'll link down the wires that I use for my cinch also um chipboard and whatnot um and if i could find this like black fall leather spine i'll link that down below as well but yeah i just made another back to school album that you could add photos and journal in so let's get started and i will talk to you guys in more detail about what i made So what I love about these projects and these cinch bound albums is that I get to use up a whole entire collection kit. So this is another one that I got. I think this was in my Echo Park um, mystery box from the from a warehouse sale they had. And I've just had it on my desk waiting to use it because I was like, I want to use it. And I was trying to use it in September. It just didn't happen. So now we're in mid-October, but I used it, okay? So it's the back to school... Um, paper collection by Laurie Whitlock by Echo Park. I don't have a lot of scraps left. This is all I got right here. That's all I got. So barely any scraps. So I'm just gonna get rid of those. And I do have the sticker sheet left and I'm gonna hold on to this because I find that I don't really have any like school ephemera and stickers and whatnot. So I'm gonna hold on to this. So next time I do make another album, I will get a chance um, to use this. So I always hold on to my stickers and then I just like either make a bunch of cards or I use it in other albums and other projects. So I don't mind mixing and matching my stickers. Okay, so that is the collection and I'll have this link down below for you guys as well in case you guys are interested in getting it. Oh, wait a second. Hold on, guys. I have one more sheet, but obviously I'm holding on to this also. This is the four by six cut aparts and I have I have this left. Um, so that's all I have for real now, but these I hold on to and um, use them in other albums and I'm probably just going to put this in with my other school paper collection. Let me do that right now before I forget. So I'm just gonna put it in here. This is a DCWV one. And the other album I share with you guys is gonna be using um, this paper pad. Okay, so let's get started. And I'm gonna show you guys what I created. I already said, let's get started. So let's just get right into it, guys. <laughs> so this album, um, I think it measures, I wanna say four and three quarters by six and three quarters, I think. Um, I have this cut apart here that says back to school. There's a tag here where you could add um, the grade that the child was in, the name of the child or whatever. Maybe you have multiple kids and you know, it's specific to one child. So that's an option. Um, the spine, you could always add their name here as well. I don't have anything there obviously because um, it's gonna be for somebody else, but I also only have foam like alpha stickers and I don't want to like put foam on here because then it wouldn't like lay flat when you have it open and then this is just the back side I do have this ribbon closure here so that opens up and that's just some ribbon from my stash then this looks like this when you open it up I have this and I didn't mat this on the inside you'll see with um white paper or anything because I didn't want this to bulk up too much the rest of the album was already getting a little bulky, especially with the tags I was adding in. Like, it doesn't seem like these tags add a lot of bulk, but they do, especially because the way that I thread the tags. So, I mean, you could always re-thread it and put like flatter ribbon and just staple it in there and that would be less bulk than the way that I did it, but I just thought it was cute. So here I just have this cut apart that says, I love school and just some scrappies that I had left over that I just used here. So it flips up, it flips down. Then this flips to the side, like so. And then this flips this way, and then you could add photos, photos, 
photo up top, photo on the bottom. And I mean, you could also just add like stick some photos in here as many as will possibly fit before it doesn't close anymore. <laughs> so, I mean, that's an option though. Then here is where I have the cinch. Everything here is cinch bound on that wire. So here I have a pocket and it says first day of school. You could pull this out there. You could journal, add a photo. You could also add a photo to the back. Then I also have another insert in here, which is a four by six um, cut apart. And that just says school rules. So you could add a photo on the back. And I just have that living in here. And then this one, I just have like part of it getting tucked in here, just like so. Then this flips, you could add a photo here. Um, you could do journaling or add a photo here. Um, so I did some photo mesh just so you could see like how, like some examples of how you could like um, decorate it. This is left open so you could add your photo right on top of it. And then this is a cute little tag that I just stapled on um, a ribbon. And then the back side is white for journaling. And that just tucks right behind that photo. This next page, you can add another photo here. Here I added some ephemera from like a vintage school collection and it says school days. That's the only ephemera I had. This was a cut apart, it says school rocks. And I just made that into a cute little tuck spot because that was like a little bigger. This also flips open like so. And in here I have another um, tag and with some seam binding from my scrap cabin shop. So, and I'll link her down below as well. It's where I get all my seam binding from if you guys haven't seen my seam binding haul videos yet. And then the back side is just white and I do have an eyelet on this one. I don't have an eyelet on all of them, just the ones that are matted with black and then matted with paper on top of that. So that is that page. Then this next page, you could add another photo here. Here I have this cut apart that I just paper clipped in here. And I feel like these are kind of also like a junk journal style. I mean, they're not really, but at the same time, like it kind of feels like it when you have like tags coming out from everywhere, you have um, things that are paper clipped in here. And I just kind of, I love that. So I don't know, what would you guys call this? Just a cinch bound album or would you call it like junk journal style cinch bound school album? I don't know, what would you guys call this kind of album? Um, and then this flips open like so, so you could add photos, photos, and make like a bigger layout. You could cut a photo in half and add like a really big photo, however you want to do it. And then you could do some journaling on that side. And then this next page, I have just like a photo mat example here. And um, this is left open so you could tuck your photo behind it. Here I have like the smaller um, kind of piece here that has an insert. And it looks like so with a white back. Um, I did add this like strip up here just so when it's flipped to the other side, you can see the patterned paper instead of like any writing that you might write. So just a little strip there. And this just lives right in here. See how it like peeks out a little. So when you flip it, you don't see the white writing. You just see the patterned paper. Here I have another paper clipped cut apart. And this time I just threw in some acetate that I had. Um, in my stash this was just a little scrap piece or I mean a larger scrap piece of acetate but that's like all I had left so I just threw it in here and that's paper clipped um, you could also obviously add photos front and back to this just kind of do it you would, you would want to do it on the same spot um, here I use another um, like ephemera piece from the vintage -y collection I had and I made it into a belly band and I added like a journal card behind that so that just lives in here. Then this next page. Um, so this one I have an envelope. Um, it was my first time making an envelope and it just like flips open so you could add some like smaller photos in here and then just like, you know, they could like live in here so it's like a nice pocket. Um, I have, I used one of the four by six cards here. I didn't do this last time either, but I used one of the four by six cards that you could just journal on and then add a photo on the back. Here I made a tuck spot with like a scrappy cut apart that I had. Um, so the back side of this is just, um, it's this lined paper actually. And whatever scraps that I had, I just cut out some of the sayings that were on the back side and I just used it as ephemera. Here I have a cut apart and then I also have a tag that I added some more ribbon to. 
and it's white on the back side. And then you could also obviously journal on this paper as well, which is something I love about this collection. There's like a lot of spaces for journaling. And then this is also a pocket. So the top has this pull out um, insert that looks like this and the back side is white. So that just lives in there. Lots of spaces and hidden text pots and things like that, which I love about this. Then this next page, you've got more journal space here. And then I had this vellum scrap piece that I just threw in here as well. Um, a cut apart that I matted onto some black cardstock and made into like a little flip out here. And I said, number one teacher, you get a journal here about the teacher. Maybe you have a photo with your teacher that you want to include there. Maybe you want to add two photos and journal on here. Maybe you have a memory that you want to include there. Um, or talk about why she's your favorite, whatever it is, or he. Um, then here, this is also a pocket, and that pulls out like so. Here I had to do some paper piecing because I didn't have a big enough piece. But that's what that looks like. Then this flips to the next page. Here I have a double layout photo example. Um, so you could add two photos here. This says classmates up here, and you could also tuck your photo behind this embellishment down here. I have a pocket here with a three by four cut apart and a four by four cut apart. So you could add a photo to the back and do some journaling here. You could also add a photo here if you really wanted to. Um, so that just lives in there in that pocket. Then here you could add another photo, another photo spot here it says picture day. And then obviously you could add more photos here on the inside when this flips open. And this actually flips open one more time. So you could add a ton of photos in there. So that's super fun. Then here I have another paper clipped um, cut apart, another two photo layout. And behind this one, I made a cute little mini tag with some scrappies. And I just put that back there and it's white on the back side, so you could do some journaling. Then on this next page, this time I have a flip out going to the left instead of all the ones going out this way. So this is a flip out going this way. Gotta add more photos. Another pocket here with a journal card. It says learning is a treasure that will follow you everywhere. So obviously journal, photo, 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 journal, however you wanna do it. And that just lives in here. There's also another insert in here as well. That looks like so. So lots of like tuck spots and pockets, plenty of space for journaling and photos. Um, that's what I love about these kinds of albums. So love it, love it, love it. Okay, so then this next page, you can do more journaling here. I have another pocket here, with three by four cut apart and a four by four. Then you could add stuff to the back. And then I just added a sticker from the sticker sheet here and matted it onto some black cardstock and it says getting smarter every day. So that lives in here. Then this next page, you could add a photo here. I have another paper clipped um, cut apart. Um, and this one I kind of added in here a little bit wrong, but I think it's okay. Still looks good and it adds some variation. I added a scrappy of paper here just so I could add a tag behind it so you could do some journaling and add a photo directly on that like scrap piece. But that way you also have a space for journaling. Then here I have this apple paper with an insert that looks like this. Lots of inserts, guys. Lots of inserts, pockets, tags, journal space, so much. And then the back side here, it says this book belongs to, you could write a name. And then you could just tell us about yourself or whatever it is on this cute little tag. Or you don't have to use that tag there at all. You could just have that space there. Whatever it is. Um, so that is the whole school um, cinch bound album. I just, I love how it turned out. I think it's super duper cute. Let me know what you guys think and what you guys would name this kind of album. What I should call it. And that is everything. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next crafty video. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.